Hey everybody, Dr. Bruce here. I just want to uh, thank you for bearing with us during this big transition. Obviously, as you look behind me, you see the old office. Now, we're in the new place in Mount Royal Plaza, and thank you. It's a big deal. See, because of you, we've decided to take things up a notch. We have a mission, and the mission is not about us. It's about the community and even the surrounding communities. What we represent is something called chiropractic, and it's something that not everybody knows about. It's something that every man, woman, and child deserves, and we're counting on you. We're counting on you to spread the mission and to tell people that there is hope, that you can expect a miracle, and you know what? People deserve to leave, lead happy and healthy lives. That is where you come in. We thank you for choosing us. We thank you for being a part of the mission, and we want to welcome you to the new place. So, as you can see with the new office, we've made some changes. While we were at the old office, I thought, what would I change if I could change several things? And what you see here represents the new changes. It's not just a different color office, it's a different layout. You notice that we went from one closed room to what's called a semi-adjusting -adjust open area. It's what we call the adjustatorium. As you can see, we'd like to take care of families. And having a semi-adjusting open area accommodates that better. So now, whether it's a family of two or a family of six, we're better able to accommodate that. We're going to be completing the office in two separate phases. We have a children's area, which will be done very shortly, and there'll be other changes you'll see on the walls. One of the main reasons for the new office is to better serve the community. Above and beyond just serving people via providing chiropractic care, we believe that the biggest challenge in this community is education. We wanted to provide an educational resource area. One of the things that you'll notice about this office, it's much bigger. One of the other changes is we're going to start to streamline our procedures in order to accommodate more families to make life a little bit easier and even more efficient. One of the changes you notice about this office is it's quite large. It's about two and a half the times size of the previous office. In the back right, we have room now to be able to hold conferences or even meetings. I want to be able to bring in leaders of natural health care from around the area and have them meet here to provide you folks with resources so that you know how to properly raise a family healthy and all natural. The new office is much larger than the previous and one of the main reasons for the change, more education. We want to better serve the community, especially by providing our advanced workshops. The old office, I had to limit it to about 20 to 21 people. This new office, I can hold the classes anywhere from 60 to 100 by rearranging the space. Here's an example of a recent advanced workshop that we offer. When that started to clear out and that signal was better able to send the life to your lungs, what do you think happened to that child's asthma? Dissipated. Bye-bye, inhale. How sweet is that? 76% of patients with bronchial asthma said they benefited from chiropractic care. Isn't that something? They were able to take a deeper breath and have more oxygen to their body. Where's the chemicals in that equation? Where's the surgery in that equation? Hmm. Ever heard of this dude, Dr. Andrew Well? Mm -hmm. The cornerstone of good health is a properly functioning immune system. Agree. One of the biggest things, and I think most of you know this, you definitely know this. Breastfeeding. Oh my gosh. I mean, to think that like in, in like one drop of breast milk, I mean, there's like three million antibody cells. It's like the, the silver bullet. It's like the ultimate liquid in... Liquid gold. It's liquid gold. My breastfeeding. Yeah. I, have you ever heard of the old wives' tale, which makes a lot of sense to me, by the way, that if a, a kid has an ear infection, put a little bit of breast milk in the ear? Have you ever heard of that one? No. It works. That one out. <coughs> Look it up. Right, you know. Not because I sort of got off the ear infection one, but what about a little bit of olive oil in the ear and you put a clove of garlic in there? Garlic has antiviral, antibacterial, and anti inflammatory properties. I tried it once, by the way. I was shocked. It works. I'll show you that one. We'll see after. Powerful. Absolutely powerful. Here's a problem, though natural versus artificial immunity. This study. It's fascinating because only 30% of pediatricians, physicians, recommended breastfeeding. 
So we have this thing called companies, which try to make this thing called money. And if you walk down the Hannaford aisle where the breast milk is, the breast milk, excuse me, formula. It's expensive. <laughs> it's expensive. Corn syrup, corn syrup salads. What the heck is that? Here's the problem right here, folks. Yeah. <coughs> Breastfeeding is actually, you would think that like almost everybody that can do it, does it. It's becoming almost more of a hindrance for ladies nowadays. Not all ladies. Some people are rock stars. I'm going to share this one with you real quick. I can almost bet the farmhouse you haven't heard of this one yet. There's this protein called the casomorphin, found in formula. Research is showing that there's a link between this and these two bad boys. See, <clears throat> when you put something into the body, and the body says, what is that? How do I break it down? See, you have the genetic DNA to break food down. So when you put something in that's man-made, such as that right there, the body goes, I don't know what to do with that. And it thinks it's an invader, so it attacks it. And it causes an autoimmune reaction. Interesting. Is this the first time you ever saw that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, guess what? Even more reason to breastfeed, right? So, here are some of the uh, things that you might find interesting. <coughs> Babies who are strictly formula-fed have higher tendency for ear infection, pneumonia, uh, gut issues, such as stomach flu, UTIs, and just overall gut issues. Why? Because a lot of this man-made stuff, the body goes, I don't know what this is. I don't know what to do with it. Versus, look at that. Look at, look at the benefits of breastfeeding. <coughs> Some good stuff there, huh? Liquid gold, right? Boom, mineral density, too. Yeah. Now, this is a really substantial slide, all right? And I want you to pay attention, whether you have kids or not, or grandkids, because... When a baby's born, even naturally, through the vaginal canal, a baby doesn't have any bacteria in its gut. In other words, a baby has no immune system. That's why the breast milk is so important. See, the baby gets its first dose of bacteria for its gut, which is linked to the immune system, inside the vaginal canal. So when babies are born naturally the way they are supposed to be, that's where the immune system starts. That pushing through the vaginal canal and through bacteria into baby. Sounds sort of gross, right? But that's actually what starts the immune system. <clears throat>